Hi, I'm Pat Horn, the STEM coordinator at the Lakeshore Museum Center, and today we're bringing you another episode of Your Museum at Home. And what I've got to show off are some different fossils that I found uh, walking along the beaches here in Muskegon and Michigan, as well as a few fossils that were found in Florida. So like most of you, anytime my family's going to the beach, we look around for fun, unique rocks, and we also try to see if we can find any fossils. Myself in particular, um, doing a lot of fossil programs at the museum, I take a pretty uh, keen interest in finding these fossils. So I want to show you some of the different fossils I found and show you some of the creatures that are in these fossils and talk a little bit more about them. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to put these in water because it'll really help bring out the fossils much better. And if you've been to the beach and done this before, you um, know that as well. When the water comes in and washes over, it's a lot easier to find them, particularly this fossil right here. So this is a Petoskey stone. And if I dip it in the water, it's a lot easier to see that pattern on the stone, let you know that it is indeed a Petoskey stone. Uh, some of the other pieces that I have here, though, are pretty interesting as well. So this doesn't look like too much, but if we were to look at it really closely, there are a few fossils in there. You can see a little shell sticking out right here. And this is basically kind of the bottom of the ocean. So you got shells and dirt and mud that fall down there, and it all kind of um, gets squished together there, and so you can find it. A lot of different types of fossils in there. You can see an outline of another little shell right over there. Um, same kind of idea with this one right here. So this is from the bottom. You can see there's a bunch of different fossils on here. These are called brachiopods. They're a shelled creature. They had um, an opening much like a zebra mussel where they would filter out little particles in the water. And those are a very common fossil find. You can find those even um, by the beaches of Hoffmaster and sometimes even Pierre Marquette. You can find those. Uh, this one here, this is a little piece of coral. You can see all the little holes and openings in this. And this coral would filter out particles that uh, ended up floating by it. This one, even before I get it wet, you can see there's a nice imprint of a shell there. It'll hopefully show up even better. Let's see, maybe I show one or two more of these fossils that I have. So this one's pretty neat. Um, this is, again, another type of coral. This is a colony coral, so it's one that would all group together. And so when it uh, becomes fossilized, you get these larger sections of them. And this is a very similar type of coral to what would give us a Petoskey stone. So hopefully you enjoyed checking out my fossil collection, and we'll see you for our next Your Museum at Home episode.